Hello everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video. Today we will be learning how to do stairs because we received so many pathways people have started to making stairs for their buildings because we can now create a lot of things out of uh, building blocks and we need stairs to reach them. Therefore, there have been invented a few ways, uh, two ways of which I will show you now, of stairs. This is the easy method that I have here for my attic. And we will be seeing how we can do this method. So we will be teleporting here to my a workstation plot you could call it and I have prepared here a few examples of stairs that you can make out of pathways these are all made out of the easy method and you can do them however you want even around it like this one as you can see once you move the first one you can move it wherever you want you can also uh, make uh, different uh, size steps, like with different gaps, depending on what items you will use. This is for the second method. But we will be learning now the easy method. For this, we are going to use uh, planks. And then the gourmet bowls from Reth. I have five of them. We're just gonna be creating a few steps. I like to get a nice platform so I can see better. Let's use two. So we're gonna be setting here a cute little platform. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I guess we can always do this and sit on this <laughs> okay so the easy method just goes like this we're just gonna keep adding steps and then a bowl oh why is this bowl so small is it the right bowl yes it is I remember it being bigger so we're gonna keep adding a bowl and then another board and another bowl and basically so on and do how many steps you want okay so we have two more bowls you don't need many bowls you can even do this with only one bowl at a time though it's a bit of a bother so having a few will help you do it easier and the fact that I started it uh, up here it will make it easier to remove the bowls yes you can remove the bowls that's why we are using these garment soup bowl this oops this is not a glitch just a trick you're gonna use uh, that Palea currently allows and here we have a set of stairs we can continue upwards by simply adding more bowls of soup and then more planks and so on if you want to go around you should place the bowl a little bit sideways oh uh, wait no my bad it should still be in the middle and you should spin the board a little bit then keep adding it in the middle maybe a little bit to the side yeah that's just it just a little bit not too much to the side and we have rounded stairs as well and then 
it's easier to remove the bowls if you have the stairs a bit upward and then we can continue using even more so yes we have these stairs now that you can use to climb wherever you want up to a wall <laughs> so that is the easy method to do the stairs but as you can see they are very close to each other which means you will be using more boards which in terms means you'll be using more item space and if you are like me and you don't want to use that much item space you should go with one of these two variants this one's a little bit too tall you would have to jump on them but you can do this as well if you want to limit your item space but these two are just right so on this one i used a pile of uh, dinner plates and a butcher block obviously you can make it even more taller by adding more butcher blocks or plates on this one i use a red present but you can use something that's sim of similar height and here i use this homestand and table on this second method you will have to use some uh, glitching and for that you will need to do some key bindings as well you can do key bindings on switch as well though i don't know how to tell you how to do them you'll have to search that on your own but you can do key bindings there as well so you go to settings on the pc and then control settings keyboard and here you can set up all kinds of actions if you want to switch your key bindings like if you have a mouse with a lot of buttons you can also do that but what we need for this method uh, let me see where it was because I don't remember oh this one confirm move key 2 set to V and move item again set to V you keep the first key you leave it with the mouse so you can still be able to use your mouse but you need a secondary key so you can uh, move it when you're doing the glitching part uh, I have set up V because in build mode this key is not used but you can set up to anything else you want oops <laughs> I'm just gonna set this back okay so you can say press it with uh, let's say the bracket I have now set it to be the bracket to confirm move and move item but I will leave it to V because it close by okay so when you pick up an item you can press the V button or the mouse button now okay so we're gonna use the present version so we're gonna have a present set up here and let's add one more item so you see it's not all about the present oh maybe we can use an insect there we're gonna use an insect this time so you can see how this works even though it might be bothersome we'll see <laughs> okay so we're gonna use a this an insect this is gonna be the height that our stairs are gonna be so first we place one board on the floor we release release the grid and then we select it we don't let go of it but we move it up here we still don't let go of it it's just gonna be up here and then we select the key that we have assigned boards to i didn't look but i think it's three. Oh no it's the present wait it's two <laughs> let me rewind that okay so we select it we leave it here and then we have our wooden boards on two we press two without releasing uh, this one and 
the action that is happening it's automatically going to drop the first board that you were dropping that you were holding and another one will be selected and you place it on top by pressing V you cannot do that with the mouse and then without releasing the grid grid we select the first board and place it downwards and the second board will jump up as you can see this will create quite a big staircase so we continue like this we pick up the first board we place it here we don't drop it and we press on 2 to select another board and we place it this time on top of the first one press V to release and then go backwards again oh I think I failed because I released oh no it didn't fail sometimes it fails when I release the button but it didn't and we can continue like this as well select the first one place it on top press 2 and go on the top board release it with V because with mouse no matter how long I try to click it doesn't work I need to press V then pick this one up place it down and it's gonna move upwards if you use another item the distance will change I'm gonna use the present here so you can see that the distance will change again we move it upwards press 2 and we're gonna have to go on the first board over here release it with V and then we're gonna move this board down and the item spacing now is a little bit small as you can see I can climb on it without jumping let's do a few more so you can see better So you're, with this method you're going to have to do a lot of back and forward movement. There, now the spacing is smaller. As you can see on the bug stairs I have to jump but here I can just walk. And you can make it even smaller by using a smaller item like the gourmet plates. We select the first step place it up don't release it press 2 get the board and you go on top release it with V and then move this one back again and this spacing is even smaller as you can see here in the example and depending on which item you use you will have different spacing there we go so we went too big too small and you can also do curved staircases as well you place it I mean you don't place it you hover it above press 2 and then this is actually easier and you can just rotate it like this release it with V and when you jump this back it will curve it will go on a curve and there we go and now we have two curved stairs Oops. and then you can pick up the first one and move it wherever you want like if you want to create a staircase to this place, a new staircase, you can. Obviously, my staircase doesn't go anywhere <laughs> right now, but we can make it go up here, I think. Uh, let me just get a good angle. There, now our staircase is going somewhere. So this is how you create a staircase and you can do so with all these items. 
I've tried some others but it didn't work it just works with the new pavement well hope my tutorial was easy to understand and see you next time I will be showing you how to do an attic don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content bye bye